Hello, I'm Matthew Gore from lightandmatter.org. Last month, I started getting a lot of questions about how to watermark your photos in Lightroom 4. And it's actually pretty easy to do, but there are two separate steps. One of them is configuring the watermark, and one is activating it. So first I'll show you how to configure the watermark, either a graphic watermark or a text watermark, and then I'll show you how to activate that in different parts of Lightroom. So to begin with, go up to the Edit menu and select Edit Watermarks. On Mac, it's uh, not in the exact same location, but similar enough, you'll find it. And then you've got this Edit Watermarks dialog box here. Now if you want to set up a text-based watermark, all you have to do is type in the information that you want in this little text field down below. I'm going to hold down the Alt key and type 0169 to get the copyright symbol. And I'll just go with light and matter for my copyright information here. Now all of the other controls that you would expect for text are over here. So you've got uh, your choice of fonts. And you can also change that to bold or italics or, or that sort of thing. You can, of course, change the color. You can also add a shadow, which is helpful when you're using a light text, and then that text is going to show up on a light background. The shadow gives it some definition around the edges, which um, is helpful. You can also change the opacity of that watermark, and you can change the position of the watermark. So if you'd like it always to show up in the bottom left corner, that's easy enough, or the bottom right corner, and then you save it by just pressing the Save button down here, and of course, choosing a name for the preset. Now let me just make a second one. I'll do the same thing, edit watermarks, but this time I'll do a graphic. And here I've got a few um, different watermarks that I've made up. Uh, in a folder, and some of them are dark, some of them are lighter, some of them are long, some of them are not. Uh, and it's a good idea to have a variety of different uh, watermarks for different types of images. In this case, I'll just choose the first one and open this up. Uh, and you can see it appears down here in the corner, and I can change the size, and of course I can also change the position. Again, for the moment, I'll just leave it down in the bottom corner, and I think I'll reduce the opacity just a little bit. If your graphic seems a little bit too close to the edges, you can change the inset, both vertical and horizontal. And once you're satisfied with the position, again, you can just save that as a preset. And believe it or not, that was the hard part. Now that the watermark presets are configured, you just have to activate them when you want to export your images. So for example, if you want to export a single image, all you have to do is go up to the export menu, and then scroll down, here we are, to the watermark setting, click on the watermark checkbox, and then choose which one of the presets you want to have applied. Uh, I'll go with the top left in this one, and then export. And when I browse to that export location in Bridge, you can see that that has been applied here as expected. Or if you want to export a gallery to the internet, you can just click on the web tab and do pretty much the same thing. Scroll down to the output settings, here we are, and click watermarking. I'm going to um, hide this bottom panel here. And you get a preview of what the current watermark is going to look like up there. You can also change that, so maybe I'll try this darker one. That looks okay on this image. I think I'll just switch back to that first one that I was using. And I think that works well enough for most of these. A little tricky on some of these in the water, but it doesn't really matter. And you'll use the same general procedure no matter how you want to output your images, so if you want to print them, then all you do is click on watermarking, and again, if you want to select a different watermark, you can always do that. If you're making a slideshow, again, you just click on watermarking, and select the preset that you want to use. So that's it. 
It's just a simple two-step procedure, and once you've configured it, it never takes more than a couple of clicks to activate it. I hope that uh, some of you have found this helpful. I'll be getting back to some more advanced techniques in my future videos, but in the meantime, if you have any Lightroom or Photoshop questions that I might be able to answer for you, just let me know.